Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to have some fun. Uh, pass 3 just opened and of course Pass 3 is connected with the statue. Statue war will be tomorrow but we can't wait which means that we want to fight straight up, right? Uh, in this fight we will compare mages and marksmen of course and the uh, best thing about this fight is that you can only send one legion towards the battlefield because inside it's a statue zone and in statue zone you can only actually send one legion. Of course I will try my best to get as much uh, merits as possible but we need to mention that BR is a strong alliance and they have almost every single tier 5 players who are fighting there right now. Uh, first one will be Walder and Welin. Uh, let's try to get merits and let's try to have some fun because as I have mentioned before, Call of Dragons is most fun whenever you are playing in the fights, right? Whenever you are fighting. Uh, the most important is as always infantry simply because infantry players um, are changing the direction of the whole fights. And let's see how well we are going to do, because here you can see, at first you need to kinda hit infantry, you need to kill infantry, and after that you are free to hit some more mages and uh, some more marksmen. Of course, as an of stripe is without long range warfare, will be which will be effective, but in my opinion, uh, simply because last season we had this meta of the uh, marksmen, a lot of players decided to play with marksmen, right? Which means for marksmen, they have targets as a marksman, right? Uh, before, when we had the no long range warfare, I think there was less marksman players and simply of the low range. Uh, if I was playing against, playing as a marksman in a war, I have only two targets, infantry and mages, right? Uh, right now, I think a lot more players started playing um, archers and archers um, are fighting against archers. That's like main uh, gameplay so far. Uh, if you are, if you guys are thinking about what's going on with the archers without long range warfare, that's my general idea so far. Of course, my merits with this uh, legion will be kind of low because only thing I'm kind of hitting is uh, infantry, unfortunately. But yeah, as soon as we will, we won't gonna have uh, opponents as an infantry. We will have free time. Uh, of hitting some backline and yeah backline is getting the whenever you are hitting backline you more merits you are getting right because uh, they are generally less tanky and they are dying quite fast uh, so far i think we are doing fine i guess we are we have more people in for these fights uh, they have less but as i have mentioned um, uh, so far um, almost every single legion which you can see from br side is uh, tier 5 so it actually matters right we don't have every single legion in this fight tier 5 we are mostly tier 4 and a couple of tier 5 members that's the uh, amount in my opinion but i hope uh, fights will continue uh, it will be long fights because we are kind of missing them because um, we have fights only whenever zone 2 opened and yeah of course every every player wants to participate in wars and uh, every player wants to get some more merits, especially if you are a tier 5 player, I, I'm not sure what you are playing besides fighting, uh, if you have already maxed everything out, um, like only gameplay you can play uh, is actually to fight. Okay, I will try my best, yeah, I guess I have already used my uh, Phoenix Eye. And yeah, slowly we are kind of pushing. That's what I said. If your infantry is stronger, you are going to win these fights. If your infantry is dying really fast and you don't have uh, other infantry who will just exchange, then I think you are having problems. That Generally, that's how wars and fights happen in Call of Dragons so far. And yeah, I think it's quite good because every single legion type should have a cause, like the type of playing. I guess that's correct wording because... Uh, if infantry is not tanky, then nobody will play as an infantry, right? Yeah, I think my Walder and Welling <clears throat> did fine in this fight so far. Um, not even half health, which means we are dealing quite a good amount of damage. Only thing which I think we are missing is that I did not use my Phoenix Eye on the multiple targets. And yeah, that's what always my uh, reasoning how I die because I want to use my artifact in the most perfect way. 
yeah we are kind of pushing them back and i i think and i hope they will come back to fight some for some more uh if not yeah then i will be pretty sad because uh, we kind of missed some fights um, in, uh, in our KVK. Of course, whenever the zone 4 will be opened, uh, there will be more and more fights, but so far, yeah, we are, I guess, every single alliance which is in our KVK is waiting for zone 4 fights. Yeah, we, as you can see, even one infantry player can keep a lot of uh, uh, damage and a lot of push. Uh, that's the main idea regarding infantry and infantry players. Uh, so far what I like about my gameplay that I have not got targeted, yeah, I finally used my uh, Phoenix Eye on 4 Legions, which is the maximum for me. Uh, of course my Phoenix Eye is not uh, max level, so yeah, I need to get super lucky in order for me to get Phoenix Eye uh, max level, because yeah, as I have mentioned many many times, I'm 100% free to play player. And yeah, regarding like uh, mana stone of life, um, I think uh, that's the best mana stone you can get, um, especially if you are fighting, because I think uh, HP bonus is the best uh, bonus which you can get in in uh, for wars, especially not even for wars, even for like farming darklings and stuff. Yeah, I have been targeted for with the couple of um, uh, artifacts by the enemies, and yeah, whenever you are fighting against your fives, you need to expect that. Uh, they are having uh, level 5 artifacts, right? But yes, yeah, sometimes I like that I can click on mages in the backline and I... If you are looking for like chill gameplay in terms of war, of course you are going for mages, right? Uh, highest range, um, don't get targeted, don't um, over overwalk towards enemies and you will be chill, you won't gonna get targeted and uh, you will be getting some merits. Uh, here it will be hard for me to get good amount of merits because uh, I'm fighting against tier 5 players. Like, I'm hoping I will get at least one or two yellow merits, right? That's my my hope so far. And yeah, I will try to do that, right? Yellow merits is that, like, whenever you open the merit um, uh, report, you will see numbers on yellows, which means you did pretty fine. That's what I call yellow merits. That's generally my like my second like competitive mind that i want to get all the, the yellow ones okay my world when welling is going uh, down a little bit because yeah like we have been alive for a long long time already in my opinion and if we are going to die i don't think uh, it will be bad right of course it will take time for me to send my legion home and refill so that my preferable choice is always to just Keep playing, keep fighting. Um, if Legion will die, Legion will die, right? Of course, at the end of the video, we will check every single um, uh, report, what kind of uh, uh, merits every single Legion will do, and we're gonna compare them because I, I'm still interested how, what kind of difference we will get between marksmen and uh, mages, right? That's why I'm playing with both of the Legion type because I want to know what's the a best ranged legion type in the game. Yeah, I, I I hope I can get one more Phoenix Eye out of this legion, but I'm not sure uh, because uh, the uh, counter attack damage from the tier five players is quite high. Yeah, we are kind of lacking some more infantry, uh, but that's the reason why we are right now moving back. And yeah, that's what actually happened uh, whenever we were just having more infantry players, we are having a more push. Whenever we are having some um, less infantry players, they are pushing us back. So, like, it changes, actually, like, whoever has more infantry on the field, then they are pushing them. I'm not sure if I will be able to charge my uh, Phoenix side, but yeah, I guess I could not. So, that was my first Legion, now I will try to get um my best run then tohar i built this legion only for this kvk like at first at, at first to try out of course both of them are free to play friendly uh 5111 bertrand then 5111 tohar i'm running uh, mirage orb that's the main reason why i built this legion and it's level one and the shadow federic i built two star for this uh, legion to try it out and to see um, how good it is actually because I think whenever Bertrand and Tohar came out uh, it was awkward because people were still playing uh, with the 
uh, Lilia is the primary and then is the main PvP, PvP uh, hero and hero pair with Welling. And I think um, Bertrand and Tohar is kind of underrated. That's my opinion uh, because uh, it's a quite good hero pair. You are having a pretty good uh, skills in addition, uh, like skill damage factor skills, which is great for mages, right? So let's see how we're to play. A friendly Bertrand and Tohar will uh, play this fight and uh, let's compare like free to play friendly Worldir and Welling and Bertrand and Tohar. It's quite interesting. Actually, Bertrand and Tohar has a better warped because uh, Sapphire Fedric doesn't have two star main skill. That's the difference already. Uh, but yeah, at least we are having here two legendary heroes together, right? Um, and yeah, like Worldir is of course awakened and uh, Welling is. 5, 2, 1, 2 or something like this, right? Uh, of course, whenever you are playing with the um, uh, mages and uh, in general with the assault PvP heroes, you always want to try to use your artifact as much times as possible because uh, mainly that's your main damage dealer uh, thing, especially as a free-to-play player. I will just turn down some music because it's actually too much, I think. Uh, it's like music is kind of uh, giving me headache, so yeah. Uh, okay, okay, three infantry against three infantry. Uh, I can see that sometimes enemy uh, mages are moving forward, but I think they are getting more infantry players here, and this should not be that easy for us to uh, turn over. Unfortunately, Bertrand and Ohar is like more of a single target damage dealer and hero pair. Um, like, if even if you will hit with Waldir on Lilia infantry, you can expect that you're gonna deal damage to multiple targets. But with Bertrand and Ohar, if you are hitting only infantry, you know that you are hitting only infantry. That's the main thing. Uh, thing in my opinion. Uh, the other hero pairs for Bertrand is of course uh, Thea with Celestials. Um, I don't have Celestials, I'm uh, Wilderberg, that's why I'm running uh, with the Tohar, right? But yeah, I think um, running Bertrand with the Thea just gives us a lot more survivability, I think. Uh, that's the idea behind it, and of course, a lot of buffs, which uh, Thea is always giving uh, to the uh, hero pair, which he's connected, right? Uh, Bertrand... Uh, yeah, we are already close to half health, which is quite bad. Uh, but yeah, finally we can use my job one more time, which is uh, great because I want to uh, get as much points or as much rages on my job and then use it on a, a backline target. That's what I usually do. I need to move a little bit close uh, because my job has its own range. And yeah, let's hope to use it. Yeah, we just did it, and unfortunately I got targeted. Yeah, that's what I always say. Uh, only time um, I'm getting a lot of targets is whenever I'm trying to use uh, my artifact in the most perfect way. Generally, that's my only mistake during the fights, but yeah. What can I do? I like to use artifacts uh, in a maximizing way, right? Yeah, we got like, I guess we lost like maybe... 50k or 25k or 30k troops for this artifact because my uh, legion is already half health. Yeah, I managed to stay alive longer with the um, Walder and Welling, uh, but I guess because it's way easier to use artifact uh, uh, Phoenix Eye rather than my Resort because there was like only infantry player uh, standing, and yeah, I didn't want it to use my Resort on one infantry legion. And especially I knew that it was tier 5, so it would be pretty useless, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but still, I think we are doing absolutely fine. Um, everything is going great. Uh, the fights are kind of even, if we're going to compare it to the enemy's uh, tier 5 troops, right? They have a lot. Uh, that's why we have been we have lost the zone to fights against them because like it's pretty easy to understand uh, during the fights that they are tier five players they have more resources to heal and stuff like that right um, yeah finally my job will be used one more time and uh, yeah I will, I will risk it of course one more time uh, because I want to get the highest uh, value out of everything what I do uh, generally if it's connected to the war right. <clears throat> Yeah, let's get more rage with on the Myrojob and then I will I will try to move up. 
Okay, my average orb is kind already, and let's see if I can click on this guy. Yep, nice. But yes, yeah, straight up, one target. I guess infantry just targeted me, right? Yeah, I guess that was the thing. I'm not sure how this guy got here, but still, <laughs> like, from the zoom out view, it's... I knew he was like mountain or something, and I, I like, at first it sounded like it's... It, it was seen like he would just ju jump over the, the mountain, but yeah. Yeah, the infantry is kind of moving up. But still, I think even Bertrand and Dohar did fine in these fights. Uh, we used the Mirage Orb three times. Um, I actually, we did kind of same with the uh, World Iron Wailing, but yeah. Let's let's compare at the end of the video who did better, right? And of course, this is the first video uh, with the mages. Uh, and the next one will be regarding marksmen. You can see they are on the bench waiting for their turn. Uh, and yeah. I guess during the mass PvP battles, uh, the units and the Legion hero pairs which are dealing damage to multiple targets are always better, right? Because you like almost every single Legion is standing near to each other and you are dealing damage to a couple of them. So it actually matters how uh, how much of the uh, players are around, right? And such as heroes uh, such as Walder, such as um, like... Um, Lilia, which are dealing damage to multiple targets, are of course better. General truth. I will try to charge my... Um, yeah, just died, right? So yeah, we fought with two mage hero pairs, um, which was Bertrand and Tohar. Let's check the um, hospital. Well, honestly, hospital doesn't really look bad if we're gonna say it again that we fight against two five players. Uh, which I think this is totally fine. If you will just take care of your troops, and if you will not get targeted much, which we actually did uh, with the Bertrand and Tohar, I think your hospital won't be like 500k fighting against your fights, right? That's fine. I will heal it, and of course I will. I, I have way more troops to play with and to have fun with, right? So I think if you will play cautiously and you understand how to fight in general, you aren't gonna have problems regarding. Um, hospital because this hospital bill was pretty pretty good 200k against her five players that's honestly really really fine uh, regarding like report which we got here is that 22k free to play well world uh with awakened and free to play well in got 22k from the uh fighting against your five players and the yeah, 11k with the Bertrand and Tohar I guess my job was kind of weak a weak usage I'm pretty sure I used the um, Phoenix Eye way way better than my job and that's why these reports are pretty different right almost 2x uh, the amount of uh, Bertrand the merits got to Alder and Welling so yeah that's the <clears throat> mages and mages fight against your five players uh, next video will be regarding marksmen and archers, right? Uh, as always, if you like the video, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this amazing game. I wish everybody an amazing day, morning and night. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.